Hello. Um, this time we're going to talk about guidelines. Um, if I, for example, have a terrain model like this, there is no indication of uh, where I am in the design, and there is no indication where I am in a relation to a break line or a string line. If I want to relate my machine to, for example, this, um, the curb here, I have a possibility to go in under tools and select guideline options. In here, I will activate the guideline and if I have any LIN files in the same project, they will be selectable here. I have quite a few of them, but in this case, I will show you how to follow the center line. So I got this as my center line. I pick that one. And now if I go back, you will see up here that there is an arrow pointing me 6.29 uh, meters to the right. And that is the distance between the left corner of the blade, which is my um, reference uh, point, and to the center line here. If I move my reference point, I do that under blade settings. If I go to the right hand corner instead of the blade, then you will see the yellow cursor has moved to the right hand side of the blade and now it's only 1.4 meters to the center line. I can also uh, offset my guideline. So I still have the center line here, but if I select an offset of two meters, and in this case, I will move it two meters to the right. And if I go back here, now you will see that it's 3.4 meter to my line. And now also the, the guideline moved from the center of the road to two meters to the right. So here I got the possibility to get the information here, how far I am from my blade reference point to a guideline. If I have side, fish, side shift functionality on the grader, then the side shift can also be automated and it will follow this indication. However, you will never be able to side shift three meters. But if you're close to it, then it will guide you and let your blade follow the guideline. That was one way to do it. Another option, if I don't have any LIN files already, I go into the guidelines again and let's go for untick. So now we just pretend that we don't have any LIN file. Then I have another opportunity, and that is to go into my line work. And I activate my line work here. And here I can find a geo file. So it's basically a coordinate file. And uh, that geo file can be um, imported and transferred, uh, translated from a DXF, for example. Uh, I will use something I call road edges here. Because I now, in this uh, geofile, I have the possibility to pick a polyline. So if I have a DXF with polylines, I can uh, convert them into a geofile and it will maintain the polylines. If I now select pick polyline, I will see all my polylines here on the screen. And I just click on one of them. So this is now the, the road edge on one of the ramps here. Okay, here we have one of them. Okay, it might be that it wasn't the polyline. Uh, anyway, now it's selected one of my polylines here. And I can either also horizont offset on that one. I can match it to where my blade is at the moment. So if I press that one, it will say match. That means it offsets the polyline two meters to the left. And if I just want to use it as it is, then I, just, then I can press go. And when I now go back to my display, you will see that I got the guideline here instead. It's highlighted here and you see there is some red dots also. That is my connection points on the polyline. I can make it more clear if I go to the plan view. Here you can see my guideline. And now I'm uh, 30 centimeters to the right of my line. So if I have side shift option now, the blade would, would move sideways to the left. 
I have another opportunity also, and that is when I am in the guideline options and I pick a polyline. If I pick the same line again, I have a possibility here to store the name of that line. Uh, so if I, for example, call it demo guide and I press enter, then I can save and use that one. And then it's both visible here in the graphics again. Now it, now it became this one uh, and I have 1.2 meters to the right to move the blade. I also next time um, if I if I am close down well if I've been away from the machine for the night or something if I go into guideline options you will also see that it's visible here now in this list and it wasn't present there before so I actually created a horizontal LIN file by using the pick polyline function down here and store it. That demo guideline can also be used as a, a reference line when I go into my settings and I look at my surface. I can either select a road line and then you will see that it's visible here, demo guideline. And if I go in the run mode here, you will see it here. So this is the guideline I created um, in my previous session here. Or else I can use it under, if I instead select a terrain model for example, I go for my terrain model here on the right and then I can use it as a center line. So I can select it here and here I got my demo guide bin. And if I now go into run mode, you will see that I got the line here and I got my stationing. And the stationing now is in relation to the and uh, the uh, demo demo guide LIM file. I can also have a, a center line, uh, a distance of the center line, and that is also in a relation to that line I just created. So, that's a little about guidelines. Thank you. See ya.